Hi guys, welcome back to Vinnie Booth. Today I'm doing a Lego review. This is the Lego Detective's Office. I hope you enjoy. Um, so we'll start off with the slanted windows. I think that's very cool and I just love how they decorate it. Um, with the Ace Brickman Private Detective. Um, you can see the pool sign here, which was pretty simple to make and it's on both sides. Um, we'll go down here to the glass dome and the under the other super cool window. The Highlander is the name of the pool place, which we'll get to shortly. Um, here you could see the Lego newsstand, which opens and one comes out so you could put somebody like on this bench, or I think it's a bench, and have them read the newspaper. Um, then we have this not so cool tree, it's just there um and then the um lamp post um here you could see the alleyway with the ladder that doesn't go down all the way but once you put it up here you could clip it on like this to get it to stay hang on okay to get it to stay um that's one of the things i don't really like about it is that there's no room to like play with it and i know this probably isn't supposed to be played with because it's so expensive but then you try putting this on and the flowers end up falling and then you do one thing and then it somehow leads to breaking the other and to be honest i don't really play with this i put it in with my lego city um which is pretty it's pretty um, childish, how I said that, but, anyways, back to the review, um, I don't really like this, um, how there's not very much room, um, on to the ground down here, I think this is really cool, it didn't take too long to make, so it was pretty easy, and you could see the stairs, which enters the barber, and another window there, um, and then onto the L sign in the scissors that was pretty hard to make, but I'm like really proud of it because I kept losing pieces. So the A looked like an H, the U looked like a U, and the S looked like the five. So it was kind of hard to make. Um, and then above that, there's two lights, lamps. Um, so then right here, you could see the barber cutting a police officer's hair with two wigs there on display and then up you could see the bathroom which is kind of like an invasion of privacy and it's just a stall so everybody could hear and smell and now see you because there's not very much privacy and then you could see the bakery up there i wouldn't consider it a bakery it's more like a kitchen so we're going to move the lamp a little bit closer now Turned off. Okay. And this is probably very, very bad lighting. You could see the, up here, the water tower and the cat walking along. Um, the water tower was pretty easy to make, but at the same time, it was kind of confusing. Because it was like, you were like hitting yourself on the head. Because it was like so easy. Yet it seemed so hard. Then down to here, you could see the... Uh, gray Hulk fists is what I'm calling them. Um, I think this makes a super cool design, and I'm glad that they edited that in. Um, then here's another light spot. And then you can see the Unikitty tails here. I think that's also pretty cool, and it makes for a cool design. And then you, there's just um, regular poles, circular pole things. There. Um... Onto the other side, um, it's kind of bad, so what I do is I put it with my Lego bank, so it, like, blocks this side, because, like, it's just messed up, it's messy. Onto this side, it is pretty cool, if I don't say so myself, if I do say so myself, um, there, you could see, you could get a better look inside, from outside, you could see what the detective's doing. 
kind of. The lighting's bad, as I say again. Um, you could, I think this is pretty cool. The three windows, I like that. And then there's the door, the back door to the pool shop. Um, and then right here, okay, this is where it gets interesting. So you, so there's a story on this, how the detective is trying to catch somebody who's been smuggling candy into Lego City. So what the person does is, well, they wear a red cap so we could see that they've been getting away with it. So they've thrown away their evidence and they're now smuggling candy to Lego City. So what they do is they open this, they stick the barrel in through here and somebody's supposed to come in and slide it through here to get into here it's probably really confusing how i worded it but it's super cool on to the next side um again this is something that you'd probably want to cover up with another set like this just saying um yeah so now on to the kitchen so we take the top off like this. It's pretty easy. And then you can see the kitchen. I'm just going to move it closer. Um, so you could see the oven with the pan on it. And then the this door cabinet opens. And then I'm not sure if you could see, but it's a... Okay, now you can see. Um, the glass oven opens. You could see the cookies on the side that they've been making. Um, and then right here is just like an open space with a what I think is considered a trash can. But in other sets, it could be a bin for like lost and found or any, really anything. Cardboard box. Um, and then right here you could see what they're making. They're making the cookies. Um, and then there's a clock right here. I don't know if the glare's in the way. And then a rolling pin. I think this part is really cool because I have a Lego old lady. And I put her up here a lot whenever I'm setting this up to show people. So I really like this part. Next is the second floor. So this is where it gets kind of interesting. You can see the potted plant right here. And then this is what I was talking about with the bathroom. It's mainly just a stall. And the door opens like that. Um, you could see the toilet and the toilet paper on the side. And then what I hope is a sink right here. And then there's the dumb window that they shouldn't have it added privacy um and then right here is the detective's office i think this part's really cool too um you could see the fan that moves um she has a really cool chair uh wow that's super boring um and then you could see he has such a cluttered desk desk with the newspaper he got from downstairs and a map of the city. And then right here he has his cool little lamp. Um, I'm going to show you the f our first minifigure that I've shown you. Um, she is, she wears all red. She doesn't have anything bes behind her, so it's kind of boring. Um, she has a average face um, and light brown hair. So I'm just going to set her aside. And then you could see this retracts, or not retracts, but moves. So you could see the letter that he's been hiding. And then so does this, but there's nothing behind it. It's just the wanted sign. And I think this is really funny because it says wanted and it's like the most average person. Like, age unknown, eyes black, height 42 millimeters, 
hair unknown, weight 3.4, and build average. I think that's hilarious, so he's never going to find the culprit. Um, and then you could see he actually has a real magnifying glass, but it's not real. It's, like, super tiny. See? Um, there's just a straight line on the back. Um, nothing much. And then the hat. And then the tie and shirt and coat with the belts, you could see. So that's pretty cool. And then the average face and the or what I think it's called, a cowboy hat, looks like. Um, I think this, oh, no, it's not. There's a coat hat, or a coat rack right here. Now, on to the cool part. This also comes off very easily. Um, so right here, we could see, well, the stairs move. So, this is what I'm talking about with the story. So, you, the barber opens that, smuggles in the candy, through the stairs. Now, if I remember how to do this, you open the trap door right here, take the barrel, and stuff it under the stairs. I hope I did that correctly without breaking anything. This is another example of how they need to make it good. And by good, I mean space. Um, you could see the little copper right here where he keeps his um, things in, like hair gel and maybe clips for the razor and scissors. Um, there's nothing in there because it wouldn't fit. And the drawers do not open, but I still think it's really cool. Right here, I'm not quite sure if you could see this, so I'm going to move it around. You could see the mirror, which is really cool. And the lights um, hovering over it. Um, and then, just going to turn it around one more time. You could see the barber cutting the cop's hair. Um, you could see the wigs in the back. So, yeah, I think the barber is pretty cool. So you could get a good look at him without me having to have to um, take him out and ruin everything. Um, and then there's a sink right here. So the barber has gray hair. He holds the scissors. Um, he has a blue and white striped shirt with red bow tie. A red bow tie and white pants. The police officer has a average police shirt with average blue pants and a ponytail that's soon to get cut off. Um, on to the best part, what I think. Um, there, so this is the pool area. We could easily move the fan out of the way so we could see the pool table just really cool. That was pretty hard to make, actually. You could see the guy playing pool. The fan actually spins, too. So that's pretty nice. Um, so the you could see him playing darts. Um, I'm going to have to take them out. So you could see he was, I think he was the original culprit for the uh, candy smuggling. Um... You could see he's holding the darts in his hand, and he has khakis on, what I think are khakis, actually, um, and a plaid blue and red shirt, and then the back is nothing. Um, and then this guy has black spiked hair, a gold um, pool cue, I think that's what it's called, and this comes off easily, so I'm just warning you if you were to buy this. Um has a blue jacket and a red or maroon uh, sweatshirt on with brown pants. Um, and then for the last part, you open this, I think it was? No. This. You slide that back, and then you could get the candy out. But it's really hard to do because I have big hand.
No, just kidding. Um, that was awkward. Um, yeah. Um, because my hands do not fit there. So you'd have to push it in, like, a lot. Um, I hope you guys like this video. This, um, was, like, a hundred and... It was over a hundred dollars, but less than a hundred and thirty-four dollars. Um, so, just saying. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, this took me two weeks to build, and I've had it for since last Christmas. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I just destroyed a set. Not really. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, subscribe to Zangoon and Soccer Kid and History Bros. Um, yeah. Bye.